Hey guys, welcome back to another Regular Dude Fishing video. I am the Regular Dude John. Hope everybody's having a great day. We are in my kitchen uh, because today we're not talking about fishing. We're talking about bait and taking care of your bait. In a previous video I had mentioned how I put my bait fish when I catch them in my cooler. The cooler is full of a salt slurry mixture uh, which is ice and water and salt. The salt brings down the freezing level of the water and it makes it very cold. Uh, sometimes it's hard to even put your hands in, it's so cold. And that shock freezes the bait almost solid when you get it. Uh, so I will take you from there now to the rest of the stuff that I do to take care of my bait. Please keep in mind I'm not an expert. I'm not a fishiologist or any of that kind of crap. I'm just a dude who takes care of bait and I do sell bait uh, as well. I have a bait dealer's license and I sell bait uh, to some tackle shops and do some dudes that contact me. So, uh, this is just things that I've learned uh, from dudes who've been handling bait for several years, like Steve Douglas, uh, Chris Flores, Chris Souders. Uh, they all have taught, and I have learned, and even a lot of the old timers, uh, these are some things that I've learned. So what we do is I bring them home, I put them in my sink, I dump them right out, you can see the ice, I'll dump them out, and I'll give them a quick rinse with cold water to wash off the slime, especially with shad, geezer, gizzard shad, Shad get very slimy and they drop their scales when they get stressed out. So we'll rinse them off. I'll put them into this tub right here where they can start drying. Drying, in my opinion, is very important for the way that I handle my bait, especially going to freeze it. Then what I do is I'll take them over here. I'll set them on more wee-wee pads like this uh, to, with a little bit of a fan blown on them trying to keep everything as cool as I can while I'm handling this bait. I want it to be as cold as possible. And I want to start drying them. I just use the cheap paper towels from the dollar store or wherever it is that you get them. And I'll dry each fish to try to get as much moisture off of them as I can. Give the gills a little bit of a squeeze because the gills hold a lot of moisture. Again, you don't want any moisture. I've already dried the one side of these. This is uh, just for demonstration. So dry the fish off. That way when you freeze them, you don't have a large buildup of ice crystals uh, that are going to puncture the skin and all that kind of stuff. That uh, ice is your enemy when it comes to freezer burn stuff. Get decent quality vacuum bags. Turn that off so there's no noise. Get a decent quality bag. Uh, if you're going to preserve your bait for a long period of time, make sure that you use a decent, decent quality bag. And then I just, I package up these smaller gizzard shad. I package them up in one pound packages. Usually a couple pounds worth. Uh, we'll make a good fishing trip. So I have my scale right here handy. We put them in one pound packages. And I like one little more little one for good looks. And now I have my one pound of gizzard chad. I'll bring them over here to my vacuum sealing machine. This is just a we're running you know, a standard run of the mill uh, food saver vacuum sealer. I'll put it in here and I'll vacuum seal them. You notice that there's not a whole lot of moisture and stuff getting sucked into here. That's what we want. We want to see that there's no moisture, there's, there's not a lot of stuff getting sucked out of these fish. Uh, that's what we want to see. It's right there. The more moisture that's on here, the more ice that's going to form around them and the better chance if they're going to get freezer burnt or stuff like that. And then once I have them packaged, then I'll set them over here aside in my tub and these are ready to go into the freezer. And you can keep these in there for several, several months. They'll still be good after several months. Important, when you go to thaw these fish that have been vacuum packed, you want to clip the end of the bag and let the air get in before these thaw because when they're under vacuum and they start thawing, it'll start pulling the guts and it'll start pulling stuff out of their mouths and out of their gills and it won't be as good of a bait. So always poke a hole or make a slit in the side of your bag to where the bag opens so that you're not thawing them under a vacuum. And that is a real quick video on how I handle my bait and how I store my bait. And uh, I have not had any complaints from any of my customers or anybody that I have fished with uh, about the quality of my bait. Uh, this will keep it good, fresh, bleeding bait for several, several months in the freezer. We're stocking up now to get through the winter time. We're uh, almost into October. 
And when the bait is hard to find, we got bait in the freezer. So there you have it. I hope that helps. Uh, you guys, thank you very much for watching. We'll uh, get into some more stuff in the next video. So until the next time, we'll catch you in the next video. All right, guys, I want to show you real quick. This is one of the fresh ones that we just did. This is one that's been in the freezer for a while. It's frozen solid, but you can see, other than the frost on the bag, it looks pretty much the same as one of the ones that we just done. Uh, and if you handle it correctly and you do it correctly, it'll stay fresh and good and should look just like this when you go to pull it out of the freezer for a good long while. So I just wanted to throw that in there and show you guys proper bait handling. It'll definitely make it worth your while uh, when there's a shortage of bait and you are headed out fishing. So, all right, that's it. Fishing! <laughs>